I have a Revel V Plus 5G phone here. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your V Plus to your Apple computer or MacBook using the charging cable and without using iTunes. So the easiest way to, in my opinion, to transfer uh, photos and videos to your MacBook computer using your cable. With a MacBook, I mean, first thing you got to do is download this Android file transfer. It's free. You download it, install it once, and once you install it, it's going to be a little Android guy uh, down here, that little robot. And once you have this installed, it's pretty much like a Windows computer, okay? So from now, what you can do is simply uh, just make sure you plug in your USB-A into your Apple computer or your MacBook. And then the other side, we're simply just going to go ahead and plug it into our phone. Now this message here pops up, don't worry about that. Now first thing we're going to do is log in, okay? So let's go ahead and log into your phone. Then I'm going to click on enter. Okay, now nothing happens yet, okay? And the reason is because what you have to do is go to your phone, swipe down, and then a little hor uh, the oh, down, very, uh, at the bottom here it says Android system, charging this device via USB. What you want to do is tap on that. And then you want to tap or tap for more options. So tap on that. And now you can see by default, it says no data transfer. What you want to do is go up here, click on file transfer. And as soon as I tap on that, voila, this pops up here. Now this, if this window here doesn't pop up, simply just go back down to the Android guy and just click on it. And it's going to open up, okay? Now from here, you can see all the folders that we have in this uh, V Plus phone. Now under DCIM folder, that's where all your photos and videos that you took in, it gets saved into that DCIM folder. So let's double click on that. And then let's double click on camera. And you can see I have some photos and videos here. I know that they're photos because it has a JPG, a JPEG extension. And I have two movies or videos down here. You can see it's an MP4 extension down here. So from here, what I can do, I can simply just drag and drop it onto my desktop, just like a Windows computer now, just like that. Or let me remove this. What I typically do is just uh, make a new folder here, and I'll call this one like, let's call this one, uh, I'll just call it, I'll leave it untitled folder. So now you can go ahead and pick and choose what you want, or if you want the whole shebang, I can click up here, hold down shift, click down here, and I can drag and drop this, all of these photos and um, videos into this folder called untitled folder. So I'll give it one second, here's transferring, and there you go. Now I can go ahead and double click that folder, and you can see, all of my photos and videos for my Rebel phone is now on here. So now I can go ahead and put this into my video editor, make some edits and whatnot, and so on. So pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below. Good luck, guys.